Okay, so today I'll be showing you guys how I make my face zooms. So the first thing you want to do is find thermal curves and add it to both of your clips. Make sure your wrap X and Y is on reflect. Then for the first clip, we want to animate C dist. Then go to the end and one frame back. Then put this to 0 0.4. Then go two frames back and make it 0 0.88. Then you go four frames back. And put it to one. Then just highlight the keyframes and make them all manual fades. Go to the curves. And just drag it like this. Then go to your second clip, animate two dist, make the first keyframe 2.5, then go four frames forward and put it to 1.3, then go eight frames forward. and put it to 1. Then highlight all of these and make them all manual fades. Go to the curves again. So this one didn't. And drag it like this. Now we have a zoom. Then we want to make a new layer. And put this one above. You can do either two or four frames. It depends on how far away the character is. So I'll do two this time. Now, now I'll, I'll do four, yeah. Then we want to um, find crop. So we want to like fade it with opacity and you don't have that much control when you're using the like regular. So add a crop to your to this clip and then we have this opacity option here just animate it then go to the end of this clip and move the keyframe here then you go three frames back make this zero then go one frame forward from this. Make sure that opacity is selected. Go down here, click on add keyframe. And so basically when it reaches this keyframe, a third of the animation will be completed. So now we can just move this to the start, make the slow fade and then second one a fast fade.
then we just need to make it so it zooms in our, on our face instead. So go here. So we, we're just going to change the center for our zoom. Make this like 0 0.9. And about 45, something like that. And then we need to copy the center to our second clip. Because it, it has to be the same. isn't that exact so we can try to adjust it a bit and then just copy it to this one okay that that's pretty close I'm not sure if I should put this to zero point 88 maybe, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just change the center until it somewhat lines up. But yeah, that's, that's pretty close. It's lagging a bit. But then we can add a blur to it. I'm gonna use spiral blur. And copy the center from here. And so so we have so it so the blur will be in the right direction. And then Animate zoom amount. You'll also have to make the spin angle zero. The default is like 20, so yeah, turn that off and put about 25 to 50 on zoom amount. Then just move this one to the end. Go to the middle keyframe, make it 5. And then to the first keyframe and put it to zero. And just make these manual fades. And go to the curves again and drag it like this. And then do the same for your second clip. Go here, copy the center. Animate zoom amount. This one is at the start and then the middle keyframe. Put it to five and the last keyframe and make it zero. Then make these manual fades and Go to the curves again, just drag it like this. But this will be called better if you add lens blur, a lens flare, a black bars, a shake or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if this helped you at all. So yeah, see ya.